Imo State form up for a new governor as Uche Ngunsu speaks against Uzotima in Federal High Court. Very recently, the Reform Alliance Party's governorship candidate, Mr. Kingdom Okere, took his case against Governor Hope Uzotima candidacy for the APC to court. He clearly stated that the Supreme Court had declared Uche Ngosu the legitimate candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC for the 2019 governorship election in Imo State. Yet, Hope Uzodima was declared governorship candidate and governor of Imo State regardless of the Supreme Court order. Hence, he prayed the Federal High Court, Abuja, to interpret the situation and give a judgment. The case has been adjourned to 29th of September. Before now, Uche Nwosu had openly declared no interest whatsoever in going to court against Uzodima, his fellow party member. However, in a turn of event, Uche Nwosu has gone to the Supreme Court seeking the taking away of the certificate of return from Governor Hope Uzodima as he, Uche Nwosu, was the legitimate candidate of the APC. Uche Nwosu has prayed the Supreme Court to hand the governorship to Honorable Emeka Ihedioa, the second runner-up as neither the All Progressive Congress APC nor Action Alliance AA featured any candidate due to issue of dual candidacy, and neither does the All Progressive Congress APC possess the right to substitute candidates according to the Electoral Act. This recent action of Uche Ugumba Musu has come as surprise to many Imolites, going by the fact that he earlier on granted interviews where he clearly declared no interest in the taking his grievance to court, more so as it concerned a fellow party member. Indeed, this particular court case could change the political tide in Imo State. However, we Imo light that in the end, justice will prevail. God bless Imo State. Thank you for listening to this news. Yes, the Imo State people are not only warming up for a new governor, but they are also preparing Douglas House for the new governor. You see, it is very good for someone to be able to speak up to speak up when needed this is a time for uche Monsu to speak up and you can see that he is not he is not only he's not just defending himself but he's defending emeka he heard her claiming it rightfully that yes he uche Musu, is the right is the right candidate that was actually given the ticket to contest as apc candidate and not uzodima so since uzodima wasn't the person given a ticket so which party did uzodima now got himself ready to start with or which party now gave uzodima the ticket to contest as a governor so how come did he got the ticket and how come did he did he um did he participate in the election and how come he got the figure that he claimed that he had and how come did he end up becoming the governor of emo state 
so there is a lot of facts from what Uche Umoso have just said and there is every every sense of belonging that definitely Uche Umoso's um, assertion at the Supreme Court will definitely um, yield uh, a positive result. See, you can see, you can see that God is really fighting for his, 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 his very own. Anything that God has a hand in, that thing is bound to is bound to be safe. You can see, just because Emeka here they were humbly stepped down and went quietly on his own. That is why in return God decided to come back and fight for him. So this is how Uzodima's uh, downfall is about to come to pass and you should not think that that it will be of 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 great um, of great opportunity or you should not think that the supreme court will will favor him this time because this time the the uh, the fact is made clear is very much made clear so he should just be preparing himself to leave Douglas house because he is not any aspirant of any political party neither did he participate in the in the in the 2019 election he is just a ghost candidate let me put it that way he's a ghost candidate so Uche Wonsu has just picking up and one thing that gave me joy in what Uche Wonsu has just done is he did not defend himself or claim to be the um, the rightful winner of, of 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 the 2019 election he knows truly well that yes he took he is a right candidate for he is the um, candidate um, that represented APC and also he took thought in the election so the right person that should be given the 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 the, 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 the seat of the governorship should be a mecca he owned up he indicated it he said it outrightly so that is one thing that gave me joy about which also and there is nothing as sweet as that there's nothing as sweet as that and that is one very good reason why the Supreme Court is going to grant Uche Mwusu's request, request and make Emeka Hirua the Imo State Governor by giving him a return certificate. You see that? So um, Uzo Dima on his own side should just I, I don't know he doesn't have anything to say he doesn't one bit i don't see anything uzodima has to say because everything has been stated clearly it has been stated clearly so no no i don't think he has anyone to defend him this time our carry that was standing by him is no more there to stand by him Oshomole, that is standing by him is already going down so he is just standing on he's just standing alone so let him face the challenge alone let him defend himself if he could so my own advice to him is he should just humbly step down from that seat and leave that seat for who that for the person that truly deserves it so my viewers i don't know what your comment concerning this may be but please don't hesitate to leave them behind click on the subscription button as well as bell button to receive more updates thank you